Hello, welcome everybody. How's everybody doing tonight? Tonight, going back to everybody's classics and all-time favorite game, the top five hardest in the NES series, I would say would be Ghosts and Goblins. I've played this several times in the past uh, month, and we're making progress bit by bit. I still haven't beaten it yet, but... I'm going to keep on working at it. We're going to get to the end. There's only eight levels, I believe. And uh, I think I've gotten as far as level four. But uh, here is the game right here. It's the Black Label 5 Screw Variant. All right. Let's get this retro show on the road. Thomas to the boss. Try to jump there, it didn't work. And if you jump one pixel too early on that part, then you're just going to not make the jump off the platform because you got to jump almost immediately. I'm um, just not making this jump. Where did he come from? This is easy. One of the easier parts in the stage. 
I can't even get out of here to the checkpoint. That's it. Uh, where's your pizza? Okay, I'll put the side. It's just not, uh, I'm thinking I'm needing to get a new controller. But this is one of the harder ones. But this is going straight to the next boss. And it takes forever to get past these guys. over 10 minutes in. I haven't been playing that long. Maybe five, minutes, five or six minutes. stuck in a glitch. Whenever that guy on the right doesn't show up, when you go past him on the bottom, he just random spawns. He can, he's flying underneath my lance. It's not low enough. 
I don't want to stop and have to. I shouldn't have to stop and duck to shoot him. I guess I have to jump over him and take the risk of getting hit by the ghosts when they spawn at the house. Oh, yeah. oh. Now he's flying high. I see how it is. This RNG shit in this game is just out of this world. You can't fight a bird and an ogre at the same time with this horrific weapon. It's too slow. See how I've ever made progress in this. This is insane. I've made it all the way up to stage four. Past the red stuff. I don't see how I've ever made it that far the way I'm playing. I haven't gotten any consistent RNG yet. On top of if I've never gotten a game where I've never gotten a weapon drop before. I've at least had the torch drop for me. I couldn't see it because... What is this RNG where there's two ogres and a bird flying? I've never seen anything like this. drops I have in this game and not a single one has dropped yet. They didn't let me get up in there. Why do I even try? A second to stop, takes a second to duck, takes a second to turn around, takes a second to shoot. About four seconds in the meantime, he's walking and going at the same time. Man, this is some tricky shit. like the fire to where it would at least stun lock in there. But I'm not even getting that. 
At least it's stopping from walking toward me like that. Because if I turn around and run, he's just going to start coming at me. Shit right there. I spent 30 seconds of my two minutes over that stupid ladder because that guy wouldn't move. All for a bird to fly. coming at you no matter what no matter what no matter what I need a weapon that's worth something I don't understand why they're not dropping any the first time I might have to reset the game and see if the RNG just recycles I don't know I don't get why I'm not getting no weapons yeah I think I'm just gonna do that screw it it's not like the game's hard but at least the first stage or two, it's not it's like it's hard. There's got to be something up that the RNG that's just causing it to do that. I don't understand that at all. I'll get in here.
to do I just missed it completely I almost have tempted to just turn around and jump back up there so I don't have to risk that jump that pixel perfect jump there. That shitty bird. Times you have to hit those guys by lands 20 times. Jeez, it's not like you jump over them and ignore them. The guy right underneath them is going to camp the thing, the ladder. Uh, I hate the stage. This is the stage that gives me the most problems for so many different reasons. Everything's gotta be so pixel perfect in the stage. You can't fucking fight because it's the pixelation is so poor. Oh my god! Down doesn't mean bored, you jackass. out of my mind that I haven't gotten one weapon at all tonight. I don't know what's going on with me. It's just the, what, the game just decided itself that it just didn't want to give me weapons anymore. There's a weapon. It's not long enough for it to show up just for a shitty ass bird to kill me. Oh, 
was nothing I could have done about that. He didn't want to squat there. He only wanted to squat on the ladder. I have got to get past this. These birds and ogus are driving me nuts. I used to. I feel like I've slowed down a lot. Just sending the just sending waves and waves and waves at me.
They can't spawn him under my feet while I'm getting surrounded by him. The stage is not really that hard. I'm just trying to get through it. There's just too many spawns. You can't shoot those like you can in um, Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Completely different game, even though it's the same series. This is the hard, one of the harder stages too, just because you gotta get past those, I think, six or seven demons and then fight a dragon boss. This stage here is ridiculous. that could have fucking killed me it was that stupid little banshee thing I was doing just fine killing all those demons and then I get to that thing and I couldn't duck low enough to hit it this game lets them fly through the fucking walls to hit me Just keep on moving forward with those demons. Yeah. I can't hang, keep backing up because it goes down and they're just gonna shoot right down on top of me. Really good. 
if I, if I go forward, he's going to still hit me, so I can't jump over him. Ah, oh, man, this is a If I didn't kill him, then how did he hit me? That's how I do it, but I can't do it. So he kills me. This game is broken. I was on my way to the boss. I had one more demon to kill and I was about to fight the boss. He's going too fast. He's not giving me any time to reset. If he would have just hung up there just one more second, I could have climbed back up and gotten on the flat platform. Flying through my daggers. Flying through my daggers. Well, I should have done last time. I usually do that. Weapon to hit something around here. Yeah, only a couple more weapons are actually registered. His registered. You know, I had to shoot once. I 
I didn't realize there's no point in just smashing on the button because it doesn't register half of the button, but... Which direction do you want to go? Make up your mind. You always fly somewhere else every time I play this. This hallway is too small for you to do random shit. Try to get just close enough to where I can get two hits on him so I can jump backwards and get the other two. Like I usually do, but he just came at me. to shoot more than I do. Register a fucking dagger throw once. I had to hide. I had him. I had it thrown while he was still stopped at the top left, and it didn't throw. So my second throw misses and I die. Yeah, I wish I could throw up. That'd be awesome. 
Just like these guys to shoot and fly in every direction in the game. I wish I'd go every direction in the game. That'd be fucking sweet. You guys wouldn't have a chance. Especially if I could throw up. to adjust to his different patterns and he's just <sighs> he's glued to me if I can't throw when he's coming at me then I'm fucked Can't get enough shots off. The pixels are way too close. You gotta have him on the opposite side of the screen to do that type of shit. Pixelation garbage. You can read my button and puts in exactly when you're coming at cross, crisscross in between my throws. I see how it's going to be.
The one time I do good, they fucking curse me with a goddamn frog. What is this game, man? They can't... They can't get over themselves. They gotta have me lose. And they took my motherfucking dad away. Yeah, f try to fight these motherfuckers with a fireball and see how much uh, luck you have with that. You only get to throw two at a time. You can't miss. thrown twice it should be count as a hit and burn for two hits apiece I'm walking on ice or something. this weapon can't do it with this weapon can't do it with this weapon Oh, 
horrible RNG. It's going to go. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's nice. Oh, man. It's not the type of RNG I'm using a uh, fireball. Give me the dagger back. Before he'll throw in more. So I'm saying that you can only throw two at a time because once they land and you miss, you have to wait for them to burn. Does he have to head haunt me every time? Fuck! If I didn't was if I wasn't limited to two throws, this would be a million times easier. Once you 
get it, that will never give you anything else. take a, a quick break i'll be right back uh, don't go anywhere it'll just be a few minutes Alright, so I was thinking maybe um we'll keep on playing Ghost and Goblin series, but let's move right right along into the next hour with uh Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Or I don't know. I'll give this a few more tries and uh see how it plays out. If I can't get past the stage then um We'll flip it over. But until then, I'll I'll stick with this. I just kind of want to play uh, Super Bowls and Ghosts a little bit, especially since I'm stuck with Fireball and I'm having so much trouble with all these uh, demons in Stage Four. Thank you. 
Or stage three, anyway. Consistent. I have to watch videos online. I really do. See people's uh, strategies to run through this game. Cause I had I've, I honestly never really watched anybody play this game. I'm learning it uh, myself. Cause I haven't really played it since I was a kid. I figured I would uh, beat it first. And then get better at it, and then start speedrunning it eventually. Makes uh, super uh, ghosts and goblins and super pools and ghosts and games like that my uh, genre to speedrun. Since it's so difficult. past that I never knew he shot that shit out of his nose that was probably what was killing me before to the end of that stage. One tough stage, I can tell you that. I made 
times did I shoot him? Four times? At least. It only supposed to take four uh, fireballs to kill those demons. He got an extra hit. the fucking recovery time that I usually get. Let me try something. Um... I jumped, he would have came right at me. I would have fell off the cliff, he would have came right at me. He would have, he, it doesn't matter which direction you go, he's still gonna come right at you. This one here. 
Because I can't, I can't follow his pattern. He doesn't have one. He will push you. He will follow you. He'll stick to you like glue. He'll do it all. It's the only one I can't really figure out. Before I even got him on screen, well, I had no chance. That's how I'm getting that one to uh, dance around and back up a little bit. So I jump forward and throw. Probably what I should do. pixels because I had armor up to that point. Challenging them like that. Trying to jump over them and stuff. That ain't gonna work. Thank you. 
Nice, I figured that fight out. That's one last demon I have to worry about. Burned by your own fire? Is that it? Oh my god, I didn't know that. Yo, Chaos, how's it going? Hope you've had a great day, Charles. Alright, uh, some ghosts and dog. Yeah, I'm trying to make some progress. I'm starting to figure out some of the uh, patterns, actually. I'm starting to figure out how to actually kill these things uh, and, like, consist, you know, consistently. Especially if the fireball gives you so much trouble. Hey, you missed out on Silent Hill 2 earlier. certain distance away from them and you jump forward and throw to and then you jump backwards and throw to when they come at you you usually can get a most of the time you get a uh, even kill like that This one right here is the only one that gives me trouble, though. Because I'm stuck against this wall, there's nowhere to go. There we go. Now I gotta fight the boss, which is... another... Then I have to worry about that guy. Yeah, I gotta start up to, um, I'm, a, I'm not that far into it. I just, uh, left the bowling alley and got to, um, I can't remember what that place is called. Because I was following, um, Laura around. stage is not so, so random, it's pretty, um, if you memorize it, it's the same every time. Like, everything spawns in the same places. They just, you know, like you said, they, there's a lot going on. Yeah, I think I got all the demons for the most part figured out now. It's just 
now I have to figure out surviving the boss. That dragon is tough. game first and then um figure out this uh, figure out the strategies I completely screwed up my strategy there but figure out the strategies to where I can speed run it as much as I can and that's and that way I'll make this genre of games uh my kind of like my speed run challenges like ghosts and goblins and uh super ghouls and ghosts and stuff like that Is, uh, he's sporad He's the only one that's in this level anyway that's pretty sporadic, that dragon is. Honestly, the dragon in this stage is the only, like, RNG you have to worry about. You just gotta react to where he moves. These guys, you can kill them, you know, the same way every time. Shot too low. I couldn't get underneath it. Yeah, I'll have to check out the speedrun website. I'll get all that set up and um, do the whole uh, PBs and everything once I uh, actually learn the game, you know, fully. I actually call myself a speedrunner if I can beat the game. <laughs> I haven't even done that much yet. This game is super difficult. Oh, uh, I shot straight down. I avoided all those attacks and then he shoots straight down when it comes over the top of me. Like you said, it just takes a ton of patience. At least in this game, unlike um, the Super Nintendo version, this game will give you uh, infinite continues. So you can just keep on going over and over and over so you can learn the game. That's, that's the only, like good part about the game that actually lets you learn it. But other than that, it's... It's a grind, and it can get on a per person that doesn't have any patience. They, it can get on their nerves real fast.
by just a pixel. That's a plus about this one. You can learn each level and memorize it, then eventually smash the levels. Yeah, that's definitely true. This guy's probably gonna kill me. Yeah, that wall, man. I can't get past that wall. I gotta figure out how to jump over. I gotta figure out how to get around that one to the other side to the right side of it and then fight it from there because getting stuck against that wall is getting killed. You gotta have open area to fight that guy. The, the cannonball protected that ghost. That's where I want a dagger so I can throw straight and not have to worry about that. I don't know why I did that. I never do it. I guess I was trying to see if I could do it earlier. Because that's pretty much what I'm going to have to do later on the very last demon. I'm going to have to like pixel perfect jump over top of it when it dives in. I'm thinking too much about the demon ahead. It's make it's affecting me on the other ones. timed it. I thought he was on his way to come diving at me and I threw my I threw my uh torches too soon. You can only throw two at a time and then when they start burning you have to wait for them to burn out before you throw more. Like that. Once they're burning on the ground there's nothing you can do. in a blue moon RNG right there. You don't usually do that. Definitely different right there. 
He never opened up like that before. Hey, I survived it. does that to me. It's like he's waiting for me to throw the torches first before he dives at me. That's what it feels like. They seem like they're hanging in the air a little longer than usual. Challenging me. up that so I had to improvise a little bit. last guy. Jump over him somehow. Uh, or I can just find the right place to, to attack from. It's always good. How long does it take to get out of this frog? Because I don't want to sit in this forever. That's what patience pays off right there. things to move so fast that kind of caught me off guard. I was like, what the hell is going on here? I didn't even realize you can jump on this. Ooh. Oh. I don't know the patterns yet. <laughs> This is a new stage. Making progress stream by stream every single time I play this game. To get a little farther. Oh, 
felt like he started slowing down a little bit. I know which platform I have to jump on, but man, for some reason it's just not wanting to come over. platforms are making everything hard to jump on. to those up there, if I can get to them. Nope. How the hell... There's no platform. That's gonna be tough. This is like a puzzle in itself. something to do with this platform. How far over does this thing go? Oh. I'll wait this one out. Find it perfectly. Oh, I missed. I don't know what the hell that was. So this is just a, t a timing thing. You gotta work it. You gotta work it out to get to the top platforms. And I'm screwing it up really bad. I'm not timing them at all. Maybe when I get to that one and they meet, I'm just gonna have to walk off of them because it doesn't seem like it's separating so fast. That's another part. Pygmies. Man, not with fireballs. This is gonna drive me crazy. Wings of fire. Coming from the ground. That's uh, tricky, tricky, tricky. 
No tests on your jumping skills on this part. I say this is going to be the long uh, haul to the next boss right here. for me. I can't do this with a fireball. If you miss just once, these guys will come at you. It's not like they respawn. They keep spawning no matter how fast you get to the stage. So you can just collectively fill up the whole room if you keep going. I gotta get rid of these little bastards. And I need a better weapon to do it with. weapon to use in this stage as a fireball. You need something that you can continuously throw and, and run. Farthest I ever gotten. I'm just pushing forward. So many these little, little things. I, I think they always spawn in the same place. Oh, they're respawning too. What's he doing? just there sleeping the second I hit him he came running at me oh wow shit I was done with that the dragon boss is guarding the purple tower I bet there's a lot of, I bet 99% of people that's seen this game played has probably never even seen the Purple Tower. Shit. 
Missed time jump. Should have waited for him to come up just a little bit longer so I can throw my fireball when I jump. Meet him halfway. I gotta be patient on this stage. I can't take on more than maybe two pigments at once. Attacking me from above, they're attacking me from below, and I can't attack. Them. I can't attack them that way. I have to avoid all the time. It's causing me to pull more of them. He goes low like that, there's no stopping him. I gotta break his tail as much as I possibly can. If I can get to his tail, I can wear him out and kill him quick. <sighs> he starts chasing me though. On the ground, it's insta death. Harder than the last dragon. That first dragon that I fought was nothing compared to this dragon. I'm, this guy actually needs me on the ground. What the hell? I got hit by nothing.
Jeez. <laughs> Man. I'm gonna start really running, seeing if I can just run backwards across the bridge and see if I can get away with that. Fighting on the bridge. The same. I got hit the same way twice in a row. fight the dragon, see if it actually helps. Oh, he followed me all the way across the bridge. <clears throat> I burned up a lot of his tail that time, though. I didn't see nothing. I'm trying to burn this boss, but it's just not happening. I actually know what to do now. The beating, I'm just having trouble doing it. to jump in this space, didn't I? Alright, I think that was a pretty good progress for tonight. It's, uh... I'm definitely gonna have to uh, get further next time with a better weapon, because if I can get that far with a fireball, then who knows with, um, you know, something much better. But, yeah. Try it another night and come back to it. 
maybe beat it next time, hopefully. That purple tower is right after that uh, dragon boss. So we're almost there. Uh, I hope that you all had a great night. Thanks, Chaos. Uh, you always been here regular. Got you a VIP here soon whenever this uh, affiliate comes my way. Uh, have a good night and drop me a follow. And I'll be back the same time for 6 o'clock uh, variety to finish up Silent Hill 2. And retro at 10 o'clock. Take care.